Hey there everyone, this is John Theodore here with a quick tutorial teaching you how to show and hide groups for larger templates in Logic Pro. First we'll take a quick look at my template to show you what I'm talking about. So when I open up my template, this is all I see. It's just a piano. And on my iPad, I'm using Composer Tools Pro, but you can use whatever you like. I know a lot of other composers use Metagrid, but uh, I'm really a fan of Composer T Tools Pro. We can get more into that in another tutorial if there's any interest from anyone out there. Just let me know. But this is what I have on my iPad. A bunch of different sections of the orchestra. I've got my woodwinds, my brass, strings, Albion One Orchestra, Ciccone Quartet, etc., etc. Uh, but back to the template. Uh, so when I open up all of the tracks and I unhide them all, here's the entire orchestra. Hide those again. And uh, actually, we'll show these again. It's kind of a, a pain in the butt to scroll up and down when you're working. Let's say I'm working on a string line and I want to see it lined up with the uh, woodwinds. It's, it's you know, my template is, isn't as big as a lot of people's out there, but it's still a pain to scroll up and down to try to line up the, the MIDI sections. So with this system of hiding and showing groups, you can just select what you want to see. So hide these. And yeah, like I was saying, if I was seeing how the flutes lined up with the violins, that's all I'm seeing. Or just the oboes and the horns. There you go. Or if I just want to see the whole string section together, there we go. So using groups makes working just a lot faster and more enjoyable. So I'm going to show you how you can set this up yourself. So we'll open a new project. Give me one second. All right, so here's a blank session, and I've just created a, a couple of empty instrument tracks. I've got flutes, oboe, clarinet, bassoon, horns, trumpets, trombone, tuba. And I'm just going to show you guys how to make groups really quick. So the first thing we'll do is select the group we'd like together. So let's call this Woodwinds, the flutes through the bassoon. And to create a group, we'll go up to Mix, and we will go Create Group. And this opens up our group window there. And we will call this Woodwinds. And then we'll do the same thing for the brass horns through the tuba. And we can either go back up to Mix or adjust within our groups window click on the settings right there and hit new. We'll call that brass. And there we go, we've got two groups. Group one, woodwinds, group two, brass. So the next thing we need to do is hit option K to bring up our key commands. And we will type in group into the search bar. And we'll f try to find toggle hide group. So we got one, through 32 for our hide groups. So one is our woodwinds. So we will learn a new assignment. And on our iPad, we'll create a button that says woodwinds. We'll touch that. And that should, oh, let me try that again. Boom, woodwinds. And there it goes. Control change one. And then group two for our brass. We'll go ahead and again, learn new assignment. And we'll just touch brass. And there you go. Just like that, we've got groups that we can show and hide on our template. And you can, like I said, do this up to 32 different groups. You can uh, mix instruments within the groups and one other thing I like to have set up on my, my template is the toggle hide empty tracks and unhide tracks. We'll just type in hide. And we got unhide all tracks, or we can hide all empty tracks. So let's say you're working on a few tracks and you still have your whole template open. You just hide empty tracks and it'll hide everything but the tracks that you're working on. And then same with unhide tracks, it just unhides everything. So, you know, that was pretty quick, pretty simple. 
Uh, one other thing I like to do is keep my groups inactive. Uh, that way, if you're trying to uh, adjust your faders, you're not adjusting everything like that. So I keep that inactive. And yeah, like I said, that's about it. It's pretty simple and it makes working just a lot, a lot faster and easier to see what you're doing. So if you have any comments or questions, go ahead and leave them below. And I hope this uh, helped some of you guys out with building your templates. And that's it.